So I wanna share with you the four books that you must read if you're serious about becoming wealthy. These four books transformed my thinking, got me out of debt, built my emergency savings account, and set me up financially to enjoy my life. Hey, I'm Terry Savelle Foy, your cheerleader of dreams. Thanks for joining me. You know, I love reading success stories of how people took a dream in their heart and made it a reality against all odds. So let me give you a little quiz this week. Which fashion designer had no formal fashion training or business training and no money? He didn't let that stop him. Instead, he sold shoes out of the trunk of his car and used the $1,000 profits to start his fashion company. Was it Jimmy Choo, Steve Madden, Christian Louboutin, or Stuart Weitzman? I'll share the answer in just a little bit. And hey, for my subscribers, I'm doing a giveaway this week on Instagram. All you have to do is obviously subscribe, but screenshot this video and post it to your story. Tag me in it so I can see it. And I'm gonna choose three winners to send you my book, The Five Things Successful People Do Before 8 a.m. Signed by me, got it? So subscribe, screenshot, post it to your story. And I'm always checking Instagram, so I can't wait to see you. So I wanna share with you the four books that you must read if you're serious about becoming wealthy. These four books transformed my thinking, got me out of debt, built my emergency savings account, and set me up financially to enjoy my life. More than anything, I have peace. <laughs> Women especially love financial security, right? Oh, and don't worry about you know writing all these books down because I provided the list in my description so you can just click on it and get my list. So let's start with number four. Number four is Think and Grow Rich by Napoleon Hill. Now this is a great book to start with because it starts with your mindset. So you've gotta get your thinking in line before you get your money in line. You're gonna learn how to get crystal clear on your financial vision. You know, I like what Mark Twain said. He said, I can teach anybody how to get what they want in life. Problem is, I can't find anybody who can tell me what they truly want. Well, what do you really want? How much money do you wanna save by the end of this year? How much of your debt do you want paid off by the end of the year? Like, what is that number? How much does it cost to finance your dream? A dream of a new car, a new house, college tuition, vacation, credit card debt. How much do you owe? Do you know the number? Do you have a clear vision of your financial future? Remember this phrase, weak desires bring weak results. So Napoleon Hill points out that desire is the turning point of all achievement. In other words, if you truly desire something, you will find a way to get it. So one of the best things you can do is to, to increase your desire is to write the vision and put it somewhere in sight constantly, you know, on your screensaver, on your refrigerator, on your bathroom mirror, of course, on your vision board. So this is such a classic book that you absolutely need to add to the top of your reading list or reread it just to get your thinking up and your financial vision clear. The third book I wanna mention, The Total Money Makeover by Dave Ramsey. Now, hearing about this book or even listening to the Dave Ramsey show is not the same as you sitting down and reading page by page by page. See, you need to immerse yourself in this new way of thinking if you're ready to get out of debt once and for all, and the best way to do that is to just sit down and read, just 10 or 20 minutes a day. Now this book is the one that got me determined to get out of debt. I was paying credit cards, my car payment, I had a loan on our swimming pool, our vacations. You know, just by reading how bad debt is, I changed my mindset and I got fanatical <laughs> about living debt free. So it will give you motivation to get up and get going. Start looking for opportunities to make more money. You know, as Dave says, get so laser focused on paying off your debts and selling things that the kids think, we're next. <laughs> Just kidding. Okay, key points I learned was to start with a vision to save $1,000, emergency money. That's like before you even work on debt. Number two was to pay off your smallest debt first. You know, he calls it the debt snowball, snowball effect. He says, when you pay off that first bit of debt, it builds this momentum and you get crazy about paying off the next debt. Number three, 
this is what I added to it, was ask the Lord for God-inspired ideas. God-inspired ideas to make money. Seek them out. You know, I have a friend who baked cookies for builders' model homes. Like she walked in and said, if I provide homemade chocolate chip cookies, would you pay me 25 cents a cookie? The builder said, Sure, it's a good idea. She raised $4,000 making chocolate chip cookies. I have another friend who bred her dogs and made $3,000. I've sold things online and made thousands of dollars, clothing, furniture, dishes, toys. You can sell all kinds of stuff. Poshmark, for example, sell your clothes. My daughter has made thousands of dollars selling her clothes. Sell your old phones. Go to Half Price Bookstore, sell all your old books. Did you know you can trade in your gift cards? You know those gift cards you got for Christmas that you may never use? You can sell them. In fact, when you click the link in the description, I'll give you some sites to go to in order to sell some of your stuff. I'll also put the list of books in here so you can order them. But bottom line, you're gonna get serious about getting out of debt and living financially free. Number two, second book I recommend is The Automatic Millionaire by David Bach. Now, David says the problem is not how much we earn, it's how much we spend. Bach says most people believe that, you know, the secret to getting rich is all about finding new ways of increasing their income as quickly as possible. You know, like if only I could make more money, they say, I'd be rich. Well, he said it simply isn't true. Ask anyone who got a raise last year if their savings increased. Most of the time, the more we make, the more we spend, right? So Proverbs 21.20 says this, The wise have wealth and luxury, but fools spend whatever they get. Well, to be honest with you, I was a fool for so many years, but not after I read this book. So his main secret to success is this, make it automatic. In other words, set up automatic withdrawal from every single paycheck into your savings account. See, you can't spend what you don't see. So this step right here has protected me from spending. You know, it set me up financially and it's given me so much peace of mind because I'm saving money. Money's there. So, and you can start this as soon as you exit out of YouTube and log into your bank account. But hang on, let me finish the video. <laughs> but I'm telling you, this will change your life. And number one, Retire Inspired by Chris Hogan. I could not put this book down when I read it four years ago. I was mesmerized by it. You know, it opened my eyes up to so many things I wasn't doing to be financially wealthy. Well, as I read it, I made a checklist of things to do as soon as I finished it. It was like a list of 10 things. And I seriously went down the list one by one and implemented them as soon as possible. Here's what I can tell you. That was only four years ago and it has changed the trajectory of my financial future. I'm serious and you can do the same thing. Then I had my whole staff read this book and set their personal financial goals. They were so grateful I had them do this. In fact, listen to what some of my staff did from May to November. So that's like six months time. You ready for this? Some of them paid off cars, like plural, several of them. Paid off credit card debts, paid off three years of medical bills, saved $1,000 emergency money, started investing money, and one even paid off their whole house. <laughs> Isn't that amazing? Well, it is amazing what can happen when you get a compelling vision to be financially free. So I took my whole team on a field trip to San Antonio, Texas to hear Dave Ramsey and Chris Hogan live and to just celebrate their dreams achieved. I was so proud of them. Well, now it's your turn. I believe you're watching this today because you're ready. You're ready to get financially free and build your own wealth. Why? So you can be a greater blessing to those around you. And you know what? It starts with a decision. A decision to start a daily routine of reading for 10 minutes or 20 minutes a day. And initially, I tell you the truth, it feels so insignificant. It appears useless, meaningless, it's just a waste of time. When you start, you don't see any results. It looks pointless. And you might even think, why bother? That's exactly how I felt when I began this discipline of just sitting quietly by myself, opening up to chapter one, page one, while setting the alarm on my phone for 20 minutes. But I did it again the next day and the next day. 
But today, I look at my life, I'm out of debt, I have a healthy savings account, my life has drastically changed and increased. And it all started with a simple plan of educating myself in the area of money by reading 20 minutes a day. So can we do this? You know, they say you don't have to be great to start, but you have to start to be great, right? So I would love to get you started by giving you this reading list today. All you have to do is simply click the link in the description so you can get started with one book at a time. And I'll also add the links to the places where you can sell some of your stuff and just sort of get a head start on building your wealth. Sound good? So just click the link and you can access that right now. So back to my original question, which fashion designer had no formal fashion training or business training and no money? He sold his shoes out of the trunk of his car. He used the $1,000 profits to start the fashion company. Was it Jimmy Choo, Steve Madden, Christian Louboutin, or Stuart Weitzman? It was the designer of these beauties right here, <laughs> Steve Madden. So my point in telling you that is no matter where you are today, don't give up on your dreams. And remember, I'm cheering you on. Hey YouTube, don't forget to subscribe to my channel by clicking the button below. And for more inspirational content, click one of the two videos right here. And don't forget, I'm cheering you on to live your dreams.